Hey, and welcome back, lovely viewers. I thought I'd do something a bit different today and actually show you how a film is made and also show you the film. So, first of all, you can probably hear the birds. Yep, we live with cockatiels. <laughs> so today, viewers have suggested that I do a film on the history of superglue, which is a really good idea. So, what I do is I go through and find various sources and make notes, scribbly notes, which I kind of absorb into my brain. So I've got kind of an idea of what I'm going to say when I go downstairs and film it. So I've made some notes about the inventor was Harry Coover and uh, he worked for Kodak and it was used in the Vietnam War and things like that. So let me absorb what I've learned about superglue. And then the next stage will be you watching me doing the filming. Then we'll do editing and then you'll see the finished film and you'll know what we look. Hey, and welcome back lovely people. A number of viewers have asked me to do a film on the history of superglue. And can you use it in medic? And do they really use it in trauma medicine? The answer to that is yes, but its history is fascinating. So go out there and get sticky, because the truth is out there. Let's go and edit this and see if it works. And we could always do a bit more filming, but that's what I've come up with. So vital for editing, a cup of coffee. And welcome back, lovely people. A number of viewers have asked me to do a film on the history of superglue. And do they really use it in trauma medicine? The answer to that is yes, but its history is fascinating. Like all great inventions, it was actually a mistake. It was invented by Kodak a research scientist, Harry Coover, back in 1942. He was looking for a transparent plastic for a gun sight or airplane canopies. Kodak were actually making stuff for the war effort at the time. And he started working with this range of chemicals called cyanoacrylics. But they were terrible. They stuck to everything and wouldn't let go. So his gun sight and the aircraft canopy just wasn't going to get made of cyanoacrylics. But then he had an idea. Maybe this terrible stuff would be a super glue. And that's exactly what happened. Cyanoacrylic compounds are liquid, but they have complex chain molecules that when they set, joined together into this very strong bond and very quickly. I really didn't know superglue goes back to 1942, but it does. A number of viewers have also asked me, did I know it was used in the Vietnam War? I kind of did anecdotally, but it's true. Tragically, when people were injured and bleeding, spraying their whole wound area with superglue stopped the bleeding. And it was used by paramedics in MASH type helicopters to transport the patients in a safe state to hospitals. These early superglues unfortunately had a bad reaction to skin and often caused irritation. But the medical industry came up with one that was medically safe and it is now commonly used in trauma labs, but there's still a problem which has only recently been fixed. So it can be used to stick skin together, but gaps of more than about six millimeters, 
really doesn't work. And what they'd really like to use it for is for open heart surgery. But of course the heart is a pump. So there's internal pressure and it's a muscle trying to pull itself apart. And the super glue in that bloody environment just didn't work. They've come up with a new clue that does work and you've probably seen it on TV. Yeah, these little sticks of glue that come with an UV light that cures the glue. Supposedly it works very fast. I've not tried it yet, but it is being used in surgery. In animal experiments, which I don't really condone, open heart surgery was carried out and the wound was sealed with this super glue and then a UV light shone on it and it set pretty instantly. This is a very different type of super glue. It's still a cyanoacrylic, but it has water added to it. And when you inject it into bloody soft tissue, it makes a foam which will set when you shine UV light on it. How brilliant. Coming to a trauma center near you. So next time you stick your fingers together while making your model project, thank Harry Coover. And as a follow-up to the film I did on Loctite versus Superglue, really Loctite is better. It's far more engineering tested. So if you are doing an engineering critical operation that involves people's safety, please use Loctite. They've done a lot of research. Please do not superglue it together. But if you're doing something which doesn't involve instant death, Superglue might be an option for you. So go out there and get sticky because the truth is out there. Don't know if that's any good. 